and it never ends and it hasn't ended. That's the awesome story. That's the improbable story. That's the story that we've all uh, been believing in. That's the story that's been told to us in pregame packages and, and television stories. And uh, that's the story. Well, the Washington Post points out that the opponents of NC State, specifically in the NCAA tournament, it doesn't. the numbers don't work as well for the ACC tournament, uh, have been shooting significantly worse against NC State from three-point land than they did this season and, and in other games. Which raises a question. Why? Yeah. And Neil Greenberg, again, of the Washington Post, showed the numbers and showed, oh, they're shooting this against this team, and th they shot this this year, and then against NC State, suddenly they couldn't hit uh, any more threes. And then I'm going to start quoting some of the article here because I want to make sure you get the, the same interaction, the same uh, guttural feeling that I got. Uh, it says, how did the defense get so good so quick? It didn't. Opponents started missing their three-point shots in droves. And I went, okay, well, what does that mean? Okay, he's got numbers. Again, very well-researched article by Neil, even if I don't agree with it. During the regular season, State's opponents hit 37% of their unguarded catch-and-shoot three-point attempts. So that's unguarded. That's catching. That's a wide-open three. Yeah. In the ACC tournament, that fell 1% to 36%. Okay. In the NCAA tournament, that dropped to 27%. And that right there is what Neil Greenberg is attributing the run to, right? The, the, the other teams they're facing just aren't making their unguarded shots. Is, are, they aren't shooting it as well. They are, through nothing that NC State is doing, they are missing their shots. Well, my response to that, uh, you know I'm good for a good movie reference. You know, I, I love uh, hearkening back to movies and quotes and things like that. Uh, hopefully, many of you saw the movie Sully, star starring Tom Hanks, about mm -hmm. a Captain Sullenberger who landed the the uh, plane on the river, the Hudson River, the Hudson just outside river. New York. Yep. There you go. We, were, I mean, one of the crazier stories. Yeah, I mean, I remember the news showing the the airplane just sitting on the the river, going yeah, like, just floating there. What in the heck happened here? Uh, well, there's a there's a, a scene in that movie where they're trying to argue that. Captain Sullenberger could have turned the the plane around and landed back at the, the airport that he took off at. And they had run these computer simulations on, oh, if you lost power at this point, you could have turned around and made it. You didn't have to land on the Hudson. You didn't have to land on the Hudson. You didn't have to land on the Hudson. And, and Tom Hanks, playing Captain Sullenberger in a great performance, eventually leans into the microphone at a hearing, right? This is like an insurance hearing. His, his reputation is on the line. And he goes, can we get serious now? And everyone's like, what, is, what does he mean? He goes, you've taken out the human element. We were two humans in a cockpit that experienced double engine failure at a lower altitude than any airplane in history. And you took out the reaction time. You took out the, oh my goodness, you took out the, the human element of it all. If we would have went bink, bink, both engines done, double bird strike. Okay, let's turn around. Yeah, we could have made it back, but we're human. And that's what Neil Greenberg is doing here. He's taking out the human element. Guess what's part of playing in the NCAA tournament? Human element. Massive amounts of pressure. <laughs> yeah. Massive amounts of pressure. Guess what's part of playing in an NCAA tournament? Fatigue. Guess what's part of playing in an NCAA tournament? Playing against teams you don't know that well and having to get a game plan together in a short amount of time. This isn't a, a conference opponent. So maybe this, maybe the, the, ready, ready? Maybe NC State has done a fantastic job on their game plans during this run and the players that are shooting unguarded threes are the ones they've chosen to leave unguarded to shoot threes. Right? Maybe, how about this? The other team feels the pressure more than NC State. Maybe, how about this, on the defensive side, or sorry, yeah, on the defensive side, when, when the opponent is on defense, they're getting beat the heck up by DJ Burns, and they're getting beat the heck up by DJ Horn, so when they get to the offensive side, their fatigue is all get out, and they're missing those threes. You can't just look at it and say, oh, defense, defense doesn't matter. Okay, what about offense? Okay, what about the environment? 
Okay, what about all the things NC State is putting up with? Okay, what about the crowd that is overwhelmingly on NC State's side because all of these games are played in gyms that have multiple teams there? And how can you not root for DJ Burns if you're there early to watch the early game, but the team you care about is playing the late game? You're taking out the the human element of it, and that's extremely frustrating. Extremely frustrating. Because when, when, when you just take out uh, a couple stats and say, oh, they're just getting lucky, you're taking away from what NC State has done. You're taking away from the unbelievable run that they're on due largely to their own output. Kevin Keats was asked what he noticed about his team, what he learned about his team during this this run through the NCAA tournament. Well, what I've learned is we are completely locked in and focused. Um, you know, with the, the moment has not bothered us. And I know a lot of people was, was thinking, hey, you know, when they get to this stage, uh, there were a lot of folks that thought, you know, winning the ACC would be enough, um, you know, and people would be satisfied, but not in our locker room. Um, our locker room, you know, our guys, you know, when we got, you know, when we got into the tournament before the even selection Sunday, all we thought about is, you know, let's take one game at a time, but we wanted to come in and have a chance to compete for a national championship. Here's the thing. Being locked in is an explanation, right? By saying they're just missing unguarded threes, you're taking away from what Coach Keats just said there. Again, if they're extra locked in, if their rotations are extra smart, if their scouting report knowledge is extra thorough, Unguarded threes might be a part of what they're hoping to do. The, the funniest part is in that article written by Neil Greenberg, he singles out a three-pointer from Kyle Filipowski, who's a 36% 36, 36 three-point shooter for Duke. And it was a pick and pop, and he was wide open, and it was how Neil, the, the, the author of, of the article for the Washington Post, explained what an unguarded three meant in their, their statistical analysis. And... Uh, and the funniest part is I was watching the game, as many of us were. It was actually more more watched than all but five uh, college football games this year. There was over 15 million people watching NC State versus Duke. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That is like, awesome. I did not realize it was that many. Yeah, the, the, the numbers prove that that game was pretty darn interesting. Again, the ACC is down, though. That's for another day. Uh, I was watching that game, as many of you were. And when Filipowski took the shot, I looked at the people I was watching the game with, and I went, that's not a good shot. Because I believed it was him settling for a three that NC State wanted him to take because he's a seven foot two guy and they didn't have a, a great defensive situation there. They didn't want him going towards the bucket. So while Neil Greenberg is saying that's a shot that, you know, is not being hit against uh, NC State this year, NC State is saying it's because we want him to shoot it. Yeah. We don't want him to do the other thing. We're giving him that shot as a statistical strategy. And now you're saying it's us getting lucky. Don't take that away from Kevin Keats and NC State. 